Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own basic shape lattice templates. A few weeks ago, Gentleman Crafter provided us a template free and I did um, a tutorial, um, scan and cut canvas tutorial showing how you could take that basic template and then put other shapes onto it to make lattice shapes. So if you go to the playlist section of my YouTube channel, Apple Lover 53 and look under the Scan and Cut Canvas playlist, you'll find that video. But today I'm actually going to show you how to create your own basic lattice templates. So we're going to use Inkscape, so I'm going to go jump into Inkscape. I'm going to start by choosing a square. I'm going to hold the Control key down on my keyboard, and while I'm holding that down, I'm going to left click and drag, and drag a square out. I'm going to come up here to the selection tool, so that selects this square and then I'm going to come up here to the sizing icon and I'm going to go to millimetres. I'm going to make sure this padlock's locked. If yours is open, click it once to lock it and then I'm going to highlight in the width and type 10 and enter on my keyboard and because I locked the padlock, that's altered the height in proportion as well, so we've got a 10 millimetre square. While that's selected, I'm going to go to edit, down to clone and create tiled clones and this box is going to open and before you do anything I want you to hit the reset icon because obviously I don't know if you've used this section before and I don't know what your settings are so if you start with reset you'll be starting at the same as I am now for the tutorial. The first tab that you should have on top is symmetry and that needs to be in P1 simple translation. Down here, I think by default rows and columns are set. I want you to click in width. Again, I'm going to change this to millimetres and I'm going to make it 150 millimetres and hit enter and do the same in the other box. that's going to give us roughly a six inch square. I'm going to go to the shift tab and in shift X under column, we're going to type 30, so 30.0 and click enter. And in shift Y under rows, we're going to type 30, so 30.0. Whilst this original shape is still selected, we're going to hit create. I'm just going to bring this my picture back into zoom. Okay, and that's given us our basic lattice template. Now while this first one is still selected, all these others are clones and they're all linked. So I don't I don't touch this at the moment. But if we want to make other changes, we have to do it while this is still selected. Now all these spaces in white here, vertically and horizontally, are where we typed in these, this 30%. And basically, they will be your card. And they will cut at about 3 millimetres because they're about 30% of the original size, which was 10 milli. If you want your gaps bigger, then while this one is still selected, you change the size in here. So if you type in... 40 and enter and 40 and enter and then click create you'll see the spaces got bigger so that's personal preference but you can only do that while this first one's still selected i'm going to change them back just to 30 for now no particular reason just prefer them i think maybe that way don't know but once I'm happy with all that, while this one's still selected, I hit the delete key on my keyboard and that's deleted the clone that was on top of there and left us with our basic lattice template. So now you need to left click and drag an imaginary box around everything and you need to go to path union and that now makes that all one shape. And what we're going to do now, we're going to come back to our square icon and we're going to start above it in the left hand corner and drag another box around it. Doesn't matter 
the size at this particular moment but you can resize it if you like but you can see the dotted line underneath and that's the bounding box box around the lattice so you know that will give you an idea of how much frame you're going to have so I'm going to let go I'm going to come over here to hit the select icon so that selects this black square sorry my screen's jumping around today and I don't know why I'm going to come over here and hit this lower to bottom so this is going to send this black section to behind then I'm going to drag an imaginary box around both go to a line just move this out of the way for a minute and I'm going to align centrally and vertically and close that down and this over here that doesn't look as though it's worked there you go close that down so they're now all centered within each other and while they're both still selected I'm going to go to path difference and that's now my lattice shape now I'm going to delete this because I'm going to take it a step further but basically you would need to save that now but I'll show you how to save in the next section so I'm going to hit delete so we're going to start with a, a, a square again hold the control key down draw a square select it make sure your padlocks locked change it to 10 that's made us the square now you can see these arrows are all pointing off vertically and horizontally and diagonally I'm going to click once on the square and you'll see the arrows change to rounded arrows while it's still like that I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard and then I'm going to come up here on this left corner this bendy arrow and I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it round so it's like a diamond okay and then I'm just going to click back on it so it's selected then I'm going to do the same thing so edit clone create tile clone the tile clone window opens I'm going to leave all the settings exactly the same as we had before so that's symmetry p1 shift 30 percent under column in x shift y 30 percent under row and everything else exactly the same as we had we didn't touch anything else okay going to leave the size at 150 millimeters down here and i'm going to click create and we get our diamonds now, as I said to you in the previous part, all these are linked to this and we can't do anything with this until we get rid of the clone. So I'm not going to change anything else on here. I'm going to close that down now because I don't need it. But while this clone is still selected, I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around all of these. You can see they're all individual pieces and I'm going to go path. union and make them one while they're all selected i'm going to right click and hit duplicate and that's put a duplicate directly on top of the originals and it's the duplicate that's selected so i'm going to come up here to the top corner and click this top left diamond and while i'm left clicking i'm going to drag it out and move it down and over horizontally and line it up and if you want, you can zoom in here with your zoom icon and then you can click select, click this centre one here, which is the second lot of diamonds. And you can use the arrows on your keyboard to move it about, about until you're happy with it. Just going to zoom back out. Now, we can't do anything with these while they're both still unioned. So I'm going to, while these are all selected, I'm going to go path. Sorry, I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and I'm going to go path union. And that now makes them one. I'm going to come over here and click my square and drag an imaginary box around everything. Click select to select this plane square send it to the back drag an imaginary box around both 
come to align centrally and vertically and close that down and while they're both still selected path difference and that's our lattice diamond and then obviously what you would do now you'd go file save as give it a name with a dot svg file extension save it somewhere you can find it i'm going to put mine on my desktop get rid of that going to open canvas i'm going to come to a new project i'm going to go to project import svg and i'm going to find my file that i've just saved and i would say you need to save these individually so if you follow this video and you do the first one with the squares save that first and then get rid of it and do the diamond otherwise if you save them both on the same map when you put the usb stick from canvas into your machine you'll have them both on your on your mat all the time you'll have to delete one before you can cut the other unless obviously you want to cut them both together and um, so i'm going to choose this it says there i gave it a name test that's what it's called wait for it to open in canvas there it is then you would name it up here so we'll call it diamond lattice click save it's told us it's saved and then you'd click download i called it diamond lattice you can see its name you'd right click on the name you choose download link file as again if you've got a usb stick plugged into your machine which i haven't you'd find it wherever however yours appears on here i'm just going to put mine on the desktop for now save it to my desktop once it's on my desktop the next time i plug a usb stick into my computer i can drag it onto there and it'll be ready for using in canvas so i hope you found that helpful please like share and subscribe leave me any questions or comments below and i'll see you in the next video thank you